Tell me what you know. What do you know about this? X axis and Y axis? All right. So what's what? That's the x-axis. This guy's the y-axis, right? Okay. So really what we have here, we have two number lines that are intersecting each other. Okay. And they intersect at this special point called the what? Zero. This is called the origin. All right. And when we look at this, we see that we these number lines divide up this plane into how many sections? Four. Four quadrants, right? So we would label them like this. This is quadrant one. And we use Roman numerals here. It's quadrant one. And you go in a counterclockwise fashion to label the rest of them. It's quadrant two. Quadrant three. quadrant four. Okay. And all the stuff that we see right here makes up what we call the rectangular coordinate system. This makes up the rectangular coordinate system. Okay. So a lot of great things that we do with this. You know, we're going to start off by plotting points and we're going to look at graphing lines and when we go into 0310 you'll see graphing some things that are not lines, non-linear functions. A lot of fun stuff here. Okay, Now, we do need to understand about points, though. And points are always given, points are given as ordered pairs. Points are given as ordered pairs. What does ordered pairs mean? An ordered pair is going to look something like <coughs> this. Like that. Uh, it's just a pair of numbers. You use parentheses and you use a comma to separate these two pieces. And these two pieces are called coordinates. OK? Just like if you were, say, in the military or doing any kind of surveying, you, know, you have to understand co coordinates, right? Latitude, longitude, you know, and it's really a, a measuring, uh, it's, it's a position from one specific point, right? So we talk about, you know, four degrees, you know, north latitude or whatever. That's based off of the equator, right? And of course, where the equator and the prime meridian meet would be, for us, our zero, zero. So when we talk about location, we can talk about that. Of course, it's not just looking at the x and y, but since we're on the globe, we can also do a coordinate based on the height as well, right? But for us, we're just talking about in a two-dimensional plane like this. A piece of paper, we should have two coordinates to uniquely determine uh, a point. And since we're talking about coordinates, we're talking about ordered pairs. And since there is order there, x and then y, that means that if I'm talking about the ordered pair 2, 7, is that the same as the ordered pair 7, 2? No, it shouldn't be if, there's a, if there really is order. So if there's order, and we're saying that this is x and y, and if this is x and y, well, those are different x and y values. Let's see what happens whenever I plot these. The order of pair 2, 7 means the following. It means that you have an x value of 2 and a y value of 7. So where these guys meet is right here. So this ordered pair, this point, is for the order of pair 2, 7. Right? Mm -hmm. If I'm talking about the order of pair 7, 2, well, that means when x is 7 and where that meets up with the y value of 2 right here. So this point is for the ordered pair 7, 2. Are these the same point? 
No, you know that if you've got coordinates backwards in a military exercise, we'd be in serious trouble, right? Maybe you guys don't realize that. You do realize that, right? Mm -hmm. Be trouble? Mm -hmm. I shot mortars and uh, all I did dealt with is that and if I, it's bad news. If you get them flipped around, yeah. bad news. It's <laughs> super, super bad news, all right? Okay, what if I were to do this? Ask you to graph three negative six. The x coordinate is three, and you're down six, so you'd be right here. This would be the order pair. Three negative six. Do you all agree with that? Okay. Now, does that make a difference which quadrant you're using, or no? No. Nope. That's even relevant. You know, the quadrants are used to, you know, maybe on with a problem, you say you, you want something that's in the first quadrant, or you're looking at something specifically that's in the fourth quadrant. When you go on to take things like trig or pre-cal or calculus, and you have to specify what quadrant you're in so that you can get back a very particular answer. Okay, Especially when you start talking about sines and cosines. And when you look at trig, and you talk about this thing called the unit circle, you start here in quadrant one, and it goes around counterclockwise. But that's for another class. <laughs>